Hi guys, this is Karina. Welcome back. So now we're on to part two of our Camila Rose. So the first part we did the inner center. Um, so now we're going to do the outer petals. Okay, so this is where we left off. Okay, I apologize if I've went a little quick um, this first part, but again, I have the pic tutorial on my Instagram and just patience, okay? <laughs> I mean, it took me a lot of times to uh, try to get this at least looking nice. So this is the first part. Okay, so now we're going to go on to our outer layer. So these are your outer petals, which are five of them, two round, three heart shaped, and you need four of each. Mine are all ready to go, which I have them right here. And you're going to go ahead and grab your first four your first four small round. There's no, besides tracing and cutting, that's it. You don't have to do anything, no curling, anything involved. So, pretty simple from now on. All you're gonna do is add a dot of glue, find a corner, does not matter where, okay. The trick is here is that you want to go in between these two where we left off. Glue on the sides. And then just go up. Pretty much what we're going to do now is what you're going to do for the remainder of all your petals. So there's the first one, you can see, and just go around in a circle now. Next part. In between. Oh, let me turn that down. <laughs> right. Glue. Watch those fingertips. You're working with hot glue. I just burnt my finger. And your last one. Now, as I mentioned in the inner part center, this is just one size right now. Roughly around 16 inches is what this, when all said and done. Um, you can double up on like the last layer of petal if you wanted to. I guess it's all on your preference how full you want this flower to be. Alright, so that's your first four. Now grab your next round one and repeat. Glue. Go in between. I have my window open so if you hear a little bird chirping. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm telling you, with this pregnancy, this third pregnancy, 
I get many half lashes. So there's, as you can see. Now, if you guys ever have any questions regarding this or any of my other templates, please feel free to message me. Those who have on Instagram and Etsy know that I I like to get back to you guys and help you guys out. I think that's the teacher in me. I used to be a teacher, kindergarten teacher for five years. So I think that's why I like doing these tutorials and posting big tutorials because I like to teach. It's I guess it's always been in me. <laughs> So, so I am more than willing to help out. That's just my personality. I know sometimes people ask me, why do you share everything? Honestly, I don't mind sharing. I love helping. I like to, to share what I've learned, what I know something new I discover, I'd like to share it with you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like to share tips on on centers, especially my Cricut, I have the Cricut, so I like to share what I use there. Um, I love to share paper finds, stores that I like to, you know, buy my paper from if I find deals I like to share with you guys so do follow me on Instagram at Ariel East Designs because I like to uh, I like to post a lot to help you guys out and your last one curious what glue gun I am using. Um, it's actually, my dad was the one who introduced me to it. It's by Black & Decker. Um, Home Depot is where um, he got it from. This one is actually my second one. The one that he gave me when I first started out making paper flowers was pretty nasty because <laughs> he used it a lot for, you know, for projects around the house. Um, so I did have to buy a new one. But I think I have to buy a new one because my sweet husband kind of screwed it up. All right, so we have your four rounds. Now we're on to our heart-shaped petals. Same thing. Grab the smallest one. Blue. and do press down with your fingers on the bottom you'll notice like these kind of pop up just press down and I'm sorry if this is boring or repetitive <laughs> But I know some of you want to watch and you can fast forward this. I mean, really, this is what you're going to do to the remainder of your petals. So as you can see, we're going in between. designs too. I do show, I think I have two videos, um, on what I like to add to the back of my flowers. If you want to mount them, like hang them onto a wall. I do like to use wire, gauge wire, mostly. I can get it from Michaels, but I believe Joanne and Hobby Lobby's also sells it. So you can take a look at that video too to see 
how I add the wire to the back of my flowers so I'm able to hang them. And I do get asked a lot, what do I use? Um, if you follow me again on Instagram, you'll see that I have flowers everywhere <laughs> around my house. Um, and believe it or not, I like to use pushpins, um, small little tiny pearlized pushpins to hang them, but you can use nails and as well command hooks. I recommend command hooks if you don't want to damage your walls, especially like an event, a party. Um, you know, sometimes they do allow you to put stuff on the walls, but you know, you just don't want it to damage it. Command hooks is a great option. Along with the leaves, I like to use the command strips. I think they're called Command 3M. I the ones they, um, I guess they kind of target for like picture frames. I like to use those. Sometimes I'll cut those in like two or three little pieces and put that on the back of my leaves. Even double-sided Velcro strips work. But that can be a little iffy. It can pull the paint off depending which brand you use. So that's why I kind of just stick with the command strips. Just thought I'd share in case you're new to this and want to get started. There you go, as you can see, it's taken shape. Grab your next four, and you're gonna go in between again. Stick those fingers in just so it, the glue adheres to that other petal. And apologies if you hear my kids on the other <laughs> first part video. They wanted their mother, but the only time I can record is when my husband is home. And they're two and three, so, you know, it's a little rough sometimes. All right, we're getting there. Alright, so this, I have one more petal to go, um, but as you can see, it's already taking shape. I mean, really, if you wanted to, you could stop there, but I'm just going to show you the last, looks with the last petal.
Hold on, baby. Oh, my son is right. Hold what? on, baby. I'm recording. Go upstairs with daddy. Mommy's almost done, okay? Sorry. <laughs> We're down to our last, last piece. 